Hi everyone, this is Anna Karin from Layers of Ink and today I have a fun tutorial for you using wax paper to create backgrounds. Um, it, it gives a resist effect and as you can see a very nice texture and I used it together with die cutting and distress ink. So let's start. So I use this detailed ringlet plate die from Simon Says Stamp. It's a really intricate die that uh, also cuts out like a, a pattern, like little needle pricks. And uh, But you can also use other dies, you can experiment and see what works for you. And then you need uh, watercolor paper and some um, just any ordinary wax paper. I also use Distress Ink uh, in actually just three colors. You can also try to do this technique with watercolor paint and you'll need um, a mister. So first you'll die cut the detailed ringlet plate. Place a, p a piece of wax paper in between the watercolor paper and the die. So that will give you this nice intricate pattern and you can keep the watercolor paper for later. Because now we only need uh, the wax, the die cut wax paper. Place it in between two sheets of watercolor paper like this. And then I just put it in uh, a folded up piece of printer paper to protect my iron. And now we're going to iron on top and uh, use the cotton setting without steam. And you'll just have to experiment a bit with how much ironing you need. You get different result um, every time. It, it's difficult to control the look of this technique, which is also fun. And now you'll bring out your non-stick craft sheet and the distress inks. And I'm just going to smear them uh, like this on the, on the non-stick craft sheet. This is Mermaid Lagoon and Spiced Marmalade. And you'll mist, them, mist the ink with water. And then, now you'll have two pieces of paper with the wax paper in between. So you can remove the wax paper and you'll see that you get a different pattern depending on which of the papers that you use. And there we go. It's difficult to see immediately. You'll see it better on the close-up images later. But that's the one pattern. And then just wipe that ink off the craft sheet. And now we're going to repeat the process with the, with the other piece of paper. Since we sandwich the wax paper in between two pieces of watercolor paper, we get two backgrounds in one go. And again, mist with water. And press the paper into the ink. It's kind of hard to see which is the top and the bottom of the paper so try to keep track of uh, where the wax paper was. So here you as you can see you get a different pattern which depends on how the wax has been transferred to the paper. So I was just catching the leftover ink there with the paper if you saw that. So on the left hand paper here you have the dotted design of the die and on the other paper you'll get more of just the pattern but without the dots. So on the second card I used Mermaid Lagoon and Ground Espresso, starting with the Mermaid Lagoon. We're just going to do the same thing again. You can experiment with various color combinations. This is a really fun thing to do with Distress Ink. And then press the paper into the ink. You have to excuse my ink and blueberry stained hands. It's can't, it doesn't seem to ever really disappear. So here we have a really lovely textured background. It might be what I used on that butterfly card. I'm not sure which of the backgrounds that I actually ended up using because I made many. You can add more ink if you feel that uh, one area has too little ink, just dip it again. And now for the second piece, and we're just repeating it. 
the same thing. You can also do this technique uh, with just crumbled up wax paper, which gives a really nice texture. Just with the water. And this paper, I think the pattern will be the one where you see the those dots more clearly. You can see I'm not sure which side actually has the the wax resist on. But it was the right one. You don't see them so clearly on this one. I might have ironed it a bit too um, briefly. You'll see it much better on the um, on the close-ups that come later. Here you can see the design. So here are some close-ups of the blue and brown patterns where you can see the difference. I like both the ones where you see the pattern more clearly and the ones uh, which have more of a textured look to them. So it's really cool how you can get so many different backgrounds from just this one same technique. It only uses that detailed ringlet dye for both of these styles of backgrounds. finish the cards are white embossed butterflies from Simon Says Stamp Beautiful Butterfly Set and uh, colored them at the back with colored pencils. The butterflies were stapled to the card and as you can see the, the big one is layered so it's two butterflies which creates dimension. Thank you so much for watching uh, this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that it inspired you to go to the kitchen and use some wax paper. You can find more details and lots of other tutorials on my blog Layers of Ink. Happy crafting! Bye!